So here we go, Graded Gallery 10 Box Master Case Break. So get on your marks. After this case, I'm gonna put up the final Graded Gallery 10 Box Master Case, and uh, we'll get after that. Uh, so here's another one of the big things that I, I always wanna touch base on too. Everybody's got their own preferences, all right? So Steel Town taking Pittsburgh number one. Let's hope it pays off, Cotton. But there you go, you don't need the number one pick to get the number one team overall. So it's all in the eye of the beholder. I hate to sound like I don't even know what, but. Here we go. All right, so little graded gallery. Like I said, for the price point, man, crack his stuff all day. So I got one more of these cases. I'm gonna put it up for you guys directly after this break. So you guys, if you guys are looking for an on-demand box break, this is gonna be about as close as it gets to an on-demand box break. Meaning, once it sells, we break it, dude. So we got a couple boxes lined up before it, some prime sigs and two more of these. But uh, we'll get to it tonight at, for absolute sure. So if you guys are sitting around and you're like, man, you know what, I kinda wanna jump in, get a little skin in the game. Well, this would be a perfect opportunity. So. First hit, Darius Hayward Bay out of Exquisite. That's eight out of 35 going to Oak Town. So HB Collections getting a little rare materials there of Darius Hay Bay. Next. Dude, I kind of like it. This would have been, um, oh my gosh. In 2010, right when this came out, this would have been a monster. How about Sam Bradford, Colt McCoy, and Jimmy Clausen? Six out of 27 out of triple threats. This would have been a beast. I mean, it's still not a bad hit because of Sammy Bradford, but this would have been a beast of a hit. So 6 out of 27, BGS 9 <laughs> out of triple threads. Oh, would have been, right? Actually, a pretty solid hit. When are they going to come back out with tribute football like they did back in 2010? How about Demarius Thomas? Tribute, what is this? Number 10 out of 15, a weird gold version of it. Going to Denver. So Mikey Wiley grabbing up a decent little hit there, Bub. So the surface got this one. That's what that's what I'm always talking about. That's what makes it difficult. Whenever, and believe me, I try and look over the cards whenever you guys say, hey man, does that look good for grading? I try and look over. There's some things that I can't see, dude. Like the surface of this card to me looks pristine. But to the dude, eight. Makes no sense. So, I don't know, man. That's why, that's why I'm always like, I, it's tough. Then you got a true rookie of Tannehill going to Miami. So, Fan O Flutter out of Crown Royal. I only have a BGS 9 of Andy Luck, so eight's actually not bad for Crown Royal. And that's 31 out of 249. And then, a little uh, party and gift for the, for the uh, Redskins there. Just the Topps Chrome RG3 going to Washington. So Steel Town 808. There you go, buddy. All right, next little five box. So there's 10 total packs in the master case, or 10 boxes, whatever you want to call them. Sometimes they put it in a little box topper for us. Sometimes they don't. All right. Dude, I like this. See? Sneaky, weird little hits. Look at Dallas getting all them hits. How about Limitless, Des Bryant, 9-5. Out of 2011, Limited. Dude, that's an awesome card. 
Going to Tigger 114. There you go. 7 out of 20. Short print. Little baby dance. Gator Boy, you just hit that triple auto, didn't you? Yeah, you did. There's only 10 cards in the box, man. Hit them up. Here's Daryl Richardson. And that's back to St. Louis. See, Gator Boy? Here you go. So Daryl Richardson, and that's true rookie, 44 out of 99. Going to Gator Boy. And I, I like it. I think I have one of these. I do. I have the exact same one. I got it right up on my wall up there. Andy Luck. RG395 with a 10 going to Indy. Big dog. 808, dude. And that'll be out of National Treasures. 68 out of 75 rookie year 2012. National Treasures. So solid little hit there going to Big Dog 808. Like I said, I got one. It's just right up there. Next. Oh, this guy. This is what I'm talking about. You know what? Let, hey, let me, you know what? You guys want to get geared up a little bit? Come on. I know you came here to see If you were free, then come on with me And I know what you came here to do Now press it open, let me see Yeah, this is going down for real Baby Russ, dude. How about a 9-5 Upper Deck Rookie Letterman Auto? Little Baby Russ going to Seattle. Come on, dude. 4 out of 45. Nice auto in there, dude. And it's 9-5? Come on. Look at Wally Rad go, dude. What a nice hit, man. So that's a really nice hit. Letterman and autoed on the Letterman. And B for Baby Russ. Come on. Come on. Dude, not too shabby. And last hit in the box. I'm telling you, dude. Would you have flipped out in 2009 if you would have hit this? Yes or no? The answer is 100% yes. Look at Gator Boy grabbing up all kinds of dual autos. This is still a nice hit, other than the Dirty Bird, but you never know. 2 out of 10 exquisite dual auto Stafford and the dirtiest bird around at Mark Sanchez. Dude, I love this hit. It's a 9 out of exquisite, 2 out of 10, the Dirty Bird up top, Gator Boy getting down, dude. Yeah, we're doing it. Man, we gots to do the last case. So that's a nice little hit, man. A little Stafford exquisite. Dirty Bird might get some playing time. Come on. Dude, so that was a pretty decent buy. I'll take that. You don't want that? I'll take that. So that was number lucky number seven, huh? 